explaining to you our wash to wash mechanism. Good everybody, we are going to change laundry water, which is grey water, into clean water and show us and show you all how our mechanism works. Today we have normal school lab, um, pot, rag, rag, dirty kitchen towel. This is I think is oil and ink. Sweaty rag. That sucks. And just to prove it, we are adding a little bit of mud. And of course, soap. the red tube and goes through all the five stages of filtration and the black tube is a drain off. Now the reason why this bucket is so small is to prove to you the little bit of water which is draining off. And these two tubes is going to give us our final result. This is the product that we started with. This is the product that came out after the first phase of filtration and this is our second after the second phase of filtration our end result. This is our comparison with tap water Tell me what you think. And this is our finished project. Would you wash your clothes with this? What you're going to do with the final water? We are going to do reuse it by letting it wash another load. So it'll be using to wash clothes again? Yes. Um, what mechanism you all have in place to determine if the bicarbonate level in your final water is at a level that when you're washing over again with it that you don't have that residue because you know it, it will impact on the quality of wash that you will get the second time around you don't have any testing mechanism to determine that we don't have that put in place right now but even after this presentation we would like to test both the bicarbonate levels as you said and the ph level of the water okay. all right so you're using this mechanism in your home Averaging how much water should a home be conserving when you use this? Since washing is one of the most use, use of water, washing plus, because 20 gallons of water is used in the average washing machine. And there's an average number of 5 persons per home. 20 by 5 is 100 gallons of water. And there's an average of 5 different types of loads, like whites and underwear stuff like that. We are out of five different types of water, so that's 500 gallons of water per washing day. All right. Um, do you all intend to hook this system up in any of your homes and use it? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. how could it impact on your bill, your water bill? Well, it will impact our water because firstly, we are saving water. And due to the survey that we conducted in several parts of South Southern San Fernando, there were metered connections, so it will also decrease their water bill. How did doing this project impact on your time in terms of getting the project done and getting your school work done? Well, it was kind of like a circus, yeah, juggle this and that, but we have people behind us and we have people willing to, you know, yeah, the whole school is behind us, as a matter of fact, and they understand what we have to do and what we're going through. So I don't think, even though we have to juggle the project and the, our schoolwork at Form 5 and Form 4, we, we filled in good on the 